Insert J9 into the O11 slot. Insert the J9 assembly into O9. Insert K18 into the O10 slot. Stack the J9 and K18 assemblies. Then insert both ends of the K19 part of the stacked assembly into two K3 slots. Insert K23 into the corresponding slot on J4. Spare parts for J4 are available. If parts are damaged, replacements can be made. Insert the K3 assembly into another slot at one end of the J4 assembly. Then roll up J4. Align the slots and insert them. Bend and insert the flexible middle section of the J4 assembly inward. Clip two J11 parts into the corresponding slots on the J4 assembly. Insert P23 into the corresponding slot on K15. Insert P24 into the corresponding slot on K15. Insert the J4 assembly into the slot of the K15 assembly. Insert J8 into the corresponding slot on J6.
Insert two K6 parts into the corresponding slots on K8. The pattern side of K6 should face outward when inserted into K8. Insert the J6 assembly into the corresponding position on the K8 assembly. Insert O12 into the corresponding position on the K8 assembly. Insert the K8 assembly into the corresponding slot on the J4 assembly. Insert J5 into one end of the corresponding position on the J4 assembly. Then roll up J5 and insert it into the other end. Insert two J13 parts into the corresponding positions on the J5 assembly. The pattern side of J13 should face outward. Insert K5 into the corresponding slot on the J5 assembly. Insert 2K9 parts into the corresponding slots on the J5 assembly. Take out J14 and apply wax. Align the slots of J14 and K13 and stack them together. Note that K13 should be stacked on the side of J14 without a pattern. Insert K11 into the corresponding slots of K13 and J14. Insert the K11 assembly into the corresponding slot on K14. Place the J14 assembly into the corresponding position on the J15 assembly. Insert two P13 parts into the corresponding positions on the J14 assembly. Insert K12 into the corresponding slot on K16. Insert the K12 assembly into the corresponding slot on K14. Insert K16 into the corresponding position on the J14 assembly. Do a simple test. Press the protruding parts on the side or the middle insertion part. Check if the part's movement is normal. Insert O13 into the two L16 slots. Insert the O13 assembly into the L8 slot. Insert the O13 assembly into the L5 slot.
Insert the O13 assembly into the L6 slot. The pattern side of L6 should face outward. Insert the other end of the O13 assembly into the L3 slot. Pay attention to the installation direction of L3. Insert L4 into the corresponding position on the O13 assembly. Insert the L4 part of the O13 assembly into the two L18 slots. Insert L2 into the corresponding position on L17. This small assembly requires two sets to be installed. Insert the O13 assembly into the two slots of the L17 assembly. Insert two L1 parts into the corresponding positions on the assembly. Insert the protruding ends of the assembly into the L10 and L9 slots, respectively. Insert the four protruding parts of the assembly into the four J7 slots, respectively. The pattern side of J7 should face outward. Take out K21 and apply wax. Clip P12 into the slot of K21. Spare parts for K21 are available. If parts are damaged, replacements can be made. Clip the spring from the K21 assembly into the slot of K10. Take out J10 and apply wax.
Insert L19 into the K10 slot. Insert the wax top of J10 into the K21 slot. Then install J10 into its corresponding slot. Insert P13 into the corresponding position on the K10 assembly. Take out the second J10 and apply wax. Insert the wax top of J10 into the K21 slot. Then install J10 into its corresponding slot. Insert K7 into the J10 position of the K10 assembly. Clip L12 into the corresponding slot of the K10 assembly. Clip L11 into the corresponding slot of the K10 assembly. Clip L14 into the corresponding slot of the K10 assembly. Clip L15 into the corresponding slot of the K10 assembly. Clip L15 again into the corresponding slot of the K10 assembly. Clip L13 into the corresponding slot of the K10 assembly. Clip L15 into the corresponding slot of the K10 assembly again. Clip L13 into the corresponding slot of the K10 assembly again. Insert the K10 assembly into the K1 and K2 slots. The pattern sides of K1 and K2 should face outward. Insert the K10 assembly into the J1 and J2 slots. Perform a simple test. Gently press down on the K7 part. Check if K21 retracts and pops out normally. Check if the part's movement is normal. Insert the K10 assembly into the J3 slot.
Insert K22 into the protruding part of K10 in the K10 assembly. Insert 1014 and 1K4 part at each end of K22 in the K10 assembly. Pay attention to the installation direction of K4. Insert the K4 part of the K10 assembly into the L7 slot. Insert the J3 position of the K10 assembly into the K17 slot. Insert K19 into the K17 slot of the K10 assembly. Insert the K17 part of the K10 assembly into the K20 slot. Pay attention to the installation direction of K20. The side of K20 with a small notch should face inward. Insert K19 into the K17 slot of the K10 assembly. Insert the K17 part of the K10 assembly into the K20 slot. Pay attention to the installation direction of K20. The side of K20 with a small notch should face inward. Align the 6J12 slots with the corresponding positions on the assembly and insert them. Insert O6 into the corresponding slot on N6.
Insert O7 into the corresponding slot on N6. Insert O6 into the corresponding slot on N5. Insert O7 into the corresponding slot on N5. Insert the N6 assembly into the N2 slot. Insert the N5 assembly into the N2 slot. Insert the uninstalled side of the assembly into the N2 slot. Insert the two sides of the assembly into the two N1 slots. Align O3 with the corresponding position on the assembly and insert it. Then push toward the groove. Insert N4 into the reserve slot in the middle of the assembly. Insert N3 into the reserve slot in the middle of the assembly. Align N8 with the corresponding position on the assembly and insert it. The pattern side of N8 should face outward. Align N7 with the corresponding position on the assembly and insert it. The pattern side of N7 should face outward. Insert O2 into the middle slots of O4 and O5. Note that O4 and O5 are facing outwards. Ensure both components are installed in the same direction. Align the two components with the slots and insert them. Pay attention to the installation direction. Clip O8 into the corresponding slot on the assembly. Clip O2 into the corresponding slot on the assembly. Align O1 with the corresponding position on the assembly and insert it.
Install the grip. Press the yellow part of the accessory as shown in the manual. Align it with the colored position on the gun body and insert it. Release the accessory once it's in the correct position. Install the iron sight. Install the accessory downward. Push it forward into place. Install the holographic sight. Press the colored part of the accessory as shown in the manual. Align it with the colored position on the gun body for installation. Release the accessory once it's in the correct position. Install the base. Align the magazine part of the gun body with the base and place it down.